Hi, my name is Jim Pandry. I've been involved in the health and fitness industry for about 18 years. And over that time, I've had a chance to really figure out how to help myself, as well as my friends and my family. And so that's the purpose of this video, is to help you understand how you can be more fit, have more energy, and how you can just feel as great as possible. So most people at one time or another in their life have tried health products and have had kind of results where I think I feel better, but I'm not sure. But they never really noticed anything, and there's several reasons for that. Because most of us, when we, when we look at, at the tons and tons of books that we can purchase and, and read, which I've been reading books for years and taking in seminars, um, and you, you find that most of the books, like, it gives you a neat idea, but it's never complete. I've never found a book yet that was totally complete as far as um, everything I need to know to be healthy. It's always focused on one thing. And what happens is most people look at the body in a metaphysical sense, where if, if you give it X, Y, Z nutrients, everything will be okay. And it doesn't necessarily work like that. What I've learned over the years is that, that there's a few things going on. And so when we take our, our basic nutrients, so we have our, our, our core nutrients that our body needs. And from there, we subtract, um, we'll call them bad foods and beverages. And those are the things like coffee and alcohol and chocolate and sugar and preservatives, um, artificial sweeteners, smoking, things like that. Things that we know are very, very bad for us. And the next part is we subtract um, foods that we have a really tough time digesting. So we'll just call those um, um, basic foods. And just to give you an idea on that is, let's say, uh, 80% of the population have sensitivities to wheat, which I'll talk a little bit more about later. It's very hard to digest. And so a lot of people have food sensitivities to foods that they eat on a daily basis, but they're so used to experiencing how they feel with these foods in their life that they don't know anything different. And you have to take them out before you'll actually understand, wow, this is how I feel without those. And so by the time you have your core nutrients, you subtract this and this, equals how much energy you have left over. So that, that's a core. So let's say, um, looking at this, so you buy some vitamins and you buy some ginseng or something and you add this into your diet, but when you still got all these things left in there, is it possible for you to really notice much? Not really, because you're not going to the cause of the problem. Now the, the next part of it is, is where we take a look at, at the specific nutrients. Now, there's specific nutrients that the Chinese, for example, took 5,000 years to figure out. So they, they, they figured out what foods are on your digestive system shopping list and your circulatory system shopping list and your immune system shopping list. Um, so they, could, they knew what foods to, to provide the body every day so it could be strong and healthy. We're over in the West, we, we eat for taste. We, we look at our food choices as, well, I like green peppers in my salad and I like you know, this and I like that. And that's how we make our choices. Or over there, they focused on what food does instead of how food tastes. And so over there, they have these system-specific foods. And so this will decide whether or not your body will regulate or regenerate. And what regenerate means is when, let's say, you cut yourself and it heals. And we're just used to this, but the, the thing that you can take that to a much farther extreme where why can't your body fix its liver and why can't it fix its large intestine and why can't it fix its pancreas and its immune system, etc. And it can. And that was one thing that our body can do that the Chinese figured out is your body can regenerate itself of almost anything. Where in the West we assume we have to go to the doctor to achieve that and take medication and allow something else to fix us. And so this is the major thing that people need to understand to become healthy. So I, I want to draw you a picture. It'll take you to, a, to the next level. It starts off by um, understanding that how different uh, health conditions um, are affected by something else. So for example, here's your nervous system. 